Hey yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be doing some winter pond fishing. I'm super excited about it. I actually got Bradley behind, or his truck's right here. He's actually already out fishing. I have a few poles rigged up today that I think is gonna work very well, which I'm gonna explain why it's gonna work well. Um, as you guys can tell, we got some bluebird skies. It is slightly cold. I'm not gonna say it's cold. It feels amazing out here, guys. But uh, I know the water temps, you know, everything's really cold. This fish are still in a little shock from the past couple of weeks where it's been, you know, pretty cold. And I have two poles rigged up. I have one with the square bill and one with the drop shot. There is one bait I wish I was throwing today, which is a jig, and I know it would absolutely kill it. You know, you got this cold weather, and you know, in this pond in specific has some rock, which I'd love to throw it on, but I'm substituting that with this old square bill down here. The reason I'm doing that is because I really don't have any jigs in my car. Um, I usually just travel around with whatever I have, and I just use that, but that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna throw a worm on this drop shot, and then we're gonna get out there, hopefully catch some fish. We have two hours exactly, literally from this minute right now, until it gets dark. So let's see if we can throw something together. What you been up to, bro? School work. School work. God, I gotta go back and do more fish head. Fish head? You actually have one on? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I need some bad. I'm like running low on them. Like I just tied that on. That's what I had in my car. Oh, you're gonna catch one. Though. Then a drop shot. I was thinking because of that rock, you know? Yeah. 60 pound fluorocarbon leader to this huge hook. It was a saltwater hook. And I cut all the fluorocarbon off of it, which was really hard. And uh, well, this square bill is expensive as too. You don't want to know. Even more expensive. Yeah, it's by Jackal. It's like 35 bucks. I'm about to lose it too. Oh, dude, he's out there, man. There ain't no way. Yeah, it ain't worth it. All right, man. I got to do it. Huh? That's a good start, dude. There he is. Not bad. Not a bad one. He's tugging hard. He's a baby. All right, guys, first fish of the day. Little tiny dude. Bradley actually caught one, but that is the monkey. That's off her back now, so we can go catch some giants. But it's just nice to catch one. I mean, it's pretty cold right now. These ponds are shut down, but first fish, let's see if we can catch some giants. He <laughs> looked big when you hook set it. Fish head. He's loaded up on it, didn't he? Yeah, let me see that. There you go. On the old fish head. Yep. I gotta whip him back out. Oh, whoa, what you doing there? That's not a bad one, bro. First cast. First cast. Yes, they do love that drop shot. Forgot they fight hard out here. Dude, it's crazy the colors of them in here versus like everywhere else are so white. It's just the water's weird, man. I mean, that's just crazy. He's got a fat, fat belly. That's, that's a done deal. Oh my God. <laughs> he's got me, he's running with me. You see him running, dude? He hit it so hard, I just didn't. Got him in the back of the head or something. I do have him in the back of the head. That's why he felt so big. <laughs> These fish here are just insane. Oh yeah. He's kind of shallower. He went, went out there far. Yes, sir. Say. Yeah, dude, this is where it should happen. Necks down right on each side. Right at the mouth of this little pocket, right there, done. And it drops off right there, perfect. They're stacked in that, 100%. I know I'm gonna catch on this guy. Yep, that was a soft bite, dude. Right in that, uh-oh. Oh yeah, that's a better one right there. Right in that little ditch right there. I don't even know what I would call that. It's not necessarily a ditch. But... Dude, that was a soft bite. Look how fat that one is, dude. Look at the stomach on that one. You need to put, throw your shaky. I'm telling you, they're gonna be stacked right there. It'd be about, oh yeah, bro. It's gonna be cast after cast. It just makes sense. 
this time of year i mean that's the deepest spot on the pond it's right where it necks down we'll sit in it watch i'm gonna do the same cast right there it's gonna happen again look at that right there bro i'm telling you they're stacked there <laughs> <laughs> that's it oh he came off that was a bigger one dude that one is like two pounds all right well i just proved what i said right there they're stacked off it's right where this neck's down you know each side of this pond comes down like this and one of the deepest spots is right in the middle obviously and they just sit in that and cradle in that this time of year in the winter and you can really put a wrecking on them i mean there, there's more than multiple fish sitting there especially on a pond like this where it's very flat on the bottom and there's not many drop-offs or transitions i mean it's gonna be every cast i just throw right towards that red little thing right down the pipe they're sitting there uh-oh uh-oh oh god bro no i'm serious this is a big one in that <laughs> what is that two and a half three look at him bro at least he looked big when he jumped Oh yeah, easy too. What in the world, bro? These fish just fight hard. <laughs> They're just stacked, bro. That's a big one, ain't it? Oh man. Oh God, dude, we just got two good ones. Bro, it's, they're stacked right there. You got them? You want me to help you? Oh yeah, dude, it's, about, it's a little bigger than mine. Oh! <laughs> Both of them. Oh dude, those are two quality ones right there. Dude, come on now. For this place? Yours is bigger than mine. Yours is thick, bro. Look at that, baby. This little double up right here. Just what we were talking about. You see where it necks down right there in the middle. They just they stack there, bro. Stacked it's up. Shaky head and a drop shot. Dude, you can't beat that. This winter time, I'm telling you that. If you find something like that, it's game over. It just is. But that's that's two quality oh, bass right there. This is about what? Two and a quarter? Two and a quarter. Mine's about pushing two, I'd say. About a pound and three quarters. Let's get back in the water. All right. Let's get back in there, dude. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna tear it up today. He has me. He's running at me or something. <laughs> yes. That's so weird. He hit it so hard and it's coming at me. I couldn't feel him. Cool, man. I don't even know what number this is. What, like ten? Ooh, that was a close one. He almost had it down there. Another little baby right there down the middle. Same spot. Same cast every time. Go try this at a lake that you're going to, and you'll catch fish. Hundred percent. But you won't just catch one fish, you'll catch multiple. I got some videos coming out with Norm and Lojo, and they were, we, we found, we found it, yeah, it was Norm and Lojo we went out with. And uh, we found a spot the same exact way where we were fishing, and we were doing the same thing with a drop shot and a trap. Just tear them up. Like that one ate it so weird, dude. It was like, does one have it or not? Yeah, he has it. Woo. Woo. Yeah, dude, it's every cast, same spot. That's not a bad one at all. Dude, these fight so hard. Fight, fight like a five pounder, man. I know you guys can't tell, but this is literally back to like, it's probably my fourth fish in four casts. I'm not even kidding here. It's just the same spot. And it's crazy that you're not getting as many bites on that worm, bro. It's like they want this kind of off the bottom a little bit. That's a, that's a thick one. I'm good. Oh, he's got it, yeah. <laughs> dude, what in the world? Is he big or is your yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that what you were talking about? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I was like, yep. What in the world's wrong with it? It just keeps on backing Sleeping, out? Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah. Dude, they're all chunky. All right, that's the one cast I didn't have a fish. Let's go to the left a little bit more. Maybe, maybe we could work it all the way back to there. Yeah, I want you to try that, dude. I'm, I'm super curious about that one. So everyone, this is kind of what I'm talking about right here. As you guys can tell, it next down to like a little pocket. Right here's the mouth of it where it opens up into the big lake. And then right here, it has these shallow banks on each side and they kind of dunk down. So it's kind of like a ditch. I mean, you can call it a ditch right here that just drops off in the middle. And that's where all those fish were sitting. You know, it was like cast after cast after cast. And that's where they're just tucked down in. So if you can find those areas that tuck down like that, and you can just tell by the bank, like there's a little pocket here off the main water i mean you can just tell that's gonna have a little drop off even if it's just a few foot like if it's one or two foot um of a drop i mean that's very important you know to go fish and throw a few casts whether it's a shaky head drop shot fish head is killer for that so if you guys are looking for like two baits a drop shot and a fish head is a perfect moving bait that's still slow especially this time of year to smack them in that go give it a try see if we can catch one you might need to throw it i, I think there's still gonna be a lot out there i just haven't got to throw out there much get them go that's the best, bro. I'm gonna have to tie one on. Unbelievable, right down that ditch. That's, that is what that fish head is for, dude. 
Amazing. That's one video I need to go do. If you guys want to see a video on the fish head out on this place, let me know. Golly, dude. That was sweet. Oh, dude, I got to. I'd rather have two fish on that than five or six on this. Yeah, I love that bite, bro. It's addicting. It's oh, it's so addicting. And this this place is perfect, so it doesn't have a bunch of nasty grass or anything. Yeah. It just, like, works. You got me excited. I'm about to turn mine on. I'm about to catch one on this. I don't care, man. It's happening. You got the combo, too. You got the reaction. Well, I, I use a fluke when it's more subtle. When the fish aren't biting as well, it seems as if it works good. I don't know. I just love this combo. This is what I've done forever. A little Warden 4th ounce fish head spin I got from Bradley. He had to, he had a few on him. Paired up with a little, little dipper. <laughs> that could have been good, right? That's, uh, you gotta be careful on that first cast. I don't even know what was on this before. <laughs> there we go. All right, that's game over. I like a hat. I hook set on him because he hit it so hard he came towards me. Yes, sir. Old fish head spin right there. He catches the little pond bass right out here in the middle where it drops off. It's the best way to throw this thing. Look at that fatty. Uh-oh. Oh my god, are you kidding me, bro? I didn't let him eat it. I didn't let him load up all the way. Bro, I just have one right behind me right there. Oh my god. Get up here, man. Look how deep this thing choked us. I mean, that that is just unbelievable. He's eating it as he was coming towards me. That's freaking sweet. Baby, but... He slammed this fish head. Oh my God, bro. Are you kidding me? Yeah, bro. I didn't even, this is the next cast. I mean, <laughs> get up here. Yeah, dude, I would click my reel and he was already ticking it. And I'm like, what in the world is going on? Choked it, same way. Look at that. Literally, next cast. Now Bradley, and you got one? No. Yeah, I let me, dude, they won't come off. Like once they start ticking it, they're not gonna spit it out. It's so weird. Like when they start ticking it, I just ke keep on letting them tick it until they actually have it and then just sweep it. Because that's the thing about the fish heads, they don't usually spit it out like they. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Oh, what is that? I got some net and some type of fishing lure. Bro, I don't even know what that is. <gasps> oh my oh, God. No, I threw this with Isaac and I lost it. Dude, There's that's one of the mega hooks, bro. Yeah, remember he was talking about it? Yeah. Oh my God, he hit me sideways, bro. Look at him fight, dude. It's unbelievable. Look. I just cannot believe how hard these fish eat. He knocked him sideways right there. Look at that. I got him outside of the mouth. He just hit it so hard. On the old fish head again, look at that. Pretty fish. Look at that. One side of his mouth's red, one side's not. That's pretty funny. Pretty fish. On the fish head, I don't even know what number this is. Maybe 15 or something. We're, we're putting a herd on him. Wait, you have a Bro, I got a big one. I ain't that big. Another double up. Another oh. rope. <laughs> crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, everybody, I think we're going to conclude this video, but I hope you guys got some, you know, value out of this. If you guys learned a little bit about winter fishing, um, there can be, you know, the, a few of those baits I threw today are very productive, and I highly suggest you guys go try them out on a pond or a lake near you and let me know what you think. A fish head is a bait I've thrown for years. It's actually, it is my favorite bait, matter of fact. I just don't get to throw it as much. Um, like today was a perfect day to throw it. Um, Bradley actually loaned me one of his. And we went out and caught some fish on that, as well as the drop shot. But a fish head is a bait this time of year that you will absolutely whack them. It's so good because it's like a hard bait. It's a moving bait. But you can slow roll it on the bottom and really target those fish wherever they're located. You know, like how I was talking about how each side of that bank drops down, they're sitting right there in the middle and it's perfect for a fish head to be slow rolled right down the pipe 
and you can catch a lot of fish on that. You can work it slow like a slow moving bait, but it's a moving bait at the same time. That's what I love about it, and that's why it's good this time of year. Kind of like a jerk bait, but on the bottom. So if you guys want to see a video on that, because a fish head is a bait that you can you can't just go out there and catch them on it or throw it and just think you're going to catch them. It's it's a bait that you need to be working it the right way. You actually have to hook set the fish the right way for him to even stay on. And there's a bunch of key factors to really go into that on how to fish that bait. But if you guys would like a video on that on how to fish a fish head spin, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video by peppering that like button up, leaving a comment below, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Beat it up, beat it up. Keep it up, keep it up. They gon' try you, they can't stop you. Eat it up, eat it up.